and now is a data set in the table we have x and we have fx x equals to 1 2 2.5 3 4 and 5 fx equals to and so on so given the data calculate um, the the value of fx when x equals to 3.4 so what does it mean by this this means the value of fx when x equals to 3.4 using Newton's polynomials of first order and second order so if you look at this one x equals to 3.4 it's between this data here so 3.4 is between this data so choose the sequence of the points for your estimates to attain the best possible accuracy so what does it mean by this choose the sequence of the points so how to do that you need to order or rearrange back the points so that they are as close to and as centered and balanced about the unknown which is 3.4 all right as possible first and foremost you have your 3.4 data and then you have your 3 and you have your 4 now between 3 and 4 which one of these two data is closer to 3.4 meaning you have to look at the range the difference all right so between 3 and 3.4 the difference is only 0 0.4 and between 3.4 and 4 the difference is 0 0.6 so which one of these two is much closer to 3.4 of course the answer is data number 3 um, this is what it means by order the points so that they are as close to and as centered and balanced um, compared to the the data that you want to estimate so the first point that you need to order is the is this one is this point and then only the fourth point and then what is the third point the third point you have to find is it 2.5 or 5 that is closer to 3.4 so which one of course it's 2.5 all right so do you have ordered your points here you have ordered your points and now it's time to calculate the whole problem for the first order interpolation this is the formula that uh, we will be using so if you still remember what is b1 let me just show you it again b1 so this is the formula for b1 all right fx1 sorry here fx uh, fx1 minus fx0 divided by x1 minus x0. So if you look at the linear equation again, the linear interpolation, which is this one, so this is actually b0. And here is actually b1. So it's the same. Okay, so don't get confused. This one is just the B0 and B1 is just the summary for all this term. B0 is the first term. B1 is the second term with X minus X0. So it's the same thing. So let's look at the first order interpolation. This will be our formula. And B0 is just simply FX0, which is 8. And B1, we have to calculate using this formula. FX1 is... 2, 2, fx0 is 8, x1 is 4, and x0 is 3. So that's why 4 minus 3. So you get b1 as negative 6. So now that we have our b0 and b1, we can substitute into this equation. So f1x, 1 here is again, it designs its first order or linear equals to b0 equals to 8 plus b1 equals to negative 6 and then we have here x minus x0 x is 3.4 all right in this case x is 
3.4 minus 3. X0 is 3. So we substitute everything. We got the answer for the linear interpolation as 5.6. And let's look at the second order. This is the formula for the interpolating second order, the polynomial, all right? B0 plus B1 plus B2 and so on. So you have to calc we have calculated B0, we have to cal we have calculated B1 and it's now time to calculate B2. So using the formula for B2, we will uh, substitute all the values inside these values, all right? These values here you will get the answer for B2 as negative 5.75. And substituting all those B0, B1, and B2 into this interpolating, into, into this um, second order polynomial, okay, so you get 8 plus negative 6. This is again B0, this is again B1, and this is B2. And this one is just the x is 3.4, 3.4, 3.4. Okay, so substitute everything, you will get your second order polynomial, second order interpolating polynomial as 6.98.